New Zealand's first satellite in space is a huge disco ball. But the glittering satellite put into orbit by Rocket Lab is not an invitation to party, more a prompt to think a little deeper about the role of humans on planet Earth. Simon Shepard explains. Four, three, ignition. When Rocket Lab made history, there was a secret payload on board. CEO Peter Beck's personal project, a massive disco ball called the Humanity Star. The whole point of the Humanity Star is to, to get people to go outside and look up and see the Humanity Star, but actually look past the Humanity Star at the universe that we actually are in, and hopefully realise that you know this is a really big place and we are really, really small in it. It's New Zealand's first satellite in space. This backup in Rocket Lab's factory is exactly the same as the one circling the Earth every 90 minutes, a glittering dome slightly brighter than the actual stars. But the one thing that distinguishes the Humanity Star from all the other stars up there is it twinkles. You can tell where and when the satellite is visible from a tracking website. It will be like spotting the International Space Station, which is the third brightest object in the sky. Basically, if you go to clear nights just after sunset or if you get up early in the morning before sunrise, as long as it's still in the glare of the sun, you'll be able to capture it, hopefully. Some astronomers say they don't want extra man-made objects obscuring the view. Others say it's a stunt, although smaller than Elon Musk's plans to send this Tesla to Mars. And Peter Beck says the star will burn out quickly. You know, it's a very sustainable statement. Um, it's up there for nine months, then, then safely re-enters and burns back up in the Earth's atmosphere. So what happens when the one up there eventually burns up? Will it be replaced by the one down here? Several of these humanity stars have been made, but Peter Beck says really it should be a one-off statement. And that is, humanity needs to unite to fix its problems. I think Earth's a pretty good place, um, so I'm, I'm in no rush to get off it. Uh, I just want us to look after it a little bit better. So no Kiwi icons like pineapple lumps or buzzy bees in space, just a Kiwi's wish to save the planet. Simon Shepherd, News Hub. In the news ahead, a British charity shouts out